let us uh, discuss about the uh, phenomena which was called uh, uh, photoreactivation by Dalbeco, which explains that uh, uh, the light has ability to repair the UV induced mutations. This phenomena is called photoreactivation. And after Dalbeco, Dalbeco's experiments, Claude S. Ruppert and his co workers devised an in vitro photoreactivation system in 1957, taking a major step towards determining the chemical mechanism of photoreactivation. As you know, uh, although Derbeko uh, named this phenomena as photoreactivation, but he or uh, his team was unable to uh, determine the chemical basis of this uh, uh, phenomena. So, uh, Claude S. Ruppert and his colleagues uh, took the initiative to, uh, to uh, describe this uh, uh, mechanism. They used a straightforward approach in which they isolated DNA from the gram-negative bacteria Haemophilus influenzae. So they, they cultured the bacteria and uh, uh, this bacterium Haemophilus influenzae and they isolated DNA. So now they have only DNA and not the Haemophilus influenzae. They irradiated this DNA with UV light to inactivate its transforming ability. You know, uh, this DNA, DNA has transforming ability. It can transform some other bacteria. Then they uh, demonstrated that a cell-free E. coli extract restored the transforming activity in the presence of light. Then uh, uh, they showed that a cell-free E. coli extract, similarly as the isolated DNA, uh, that cell-free uh, cell extract restored the transforming activity. That is, uh, uh, the, if the DNA is damaged by UV light and if this cell-free extract is placed in light, this uh, transforming ability can be reversed. Although uh, uh, this study had the potential to open the way for the purification and characterization of photoreactivation enzymes, because these enzymes were present in the cell-free extract, because there were no cells, but cell-free extract had these enzymes. So, these, uh, these experiments, they uh, gave an opportunity to uh, purify and isolate these enzymes which are used, which are involved in photoreactivation. But uh, uh, the investigators still needed to establish the chemical nature of this repair. Although they performed this straightforward experiments and they showed uh, uh, this uh, photoreactivation phenomena, but still they were unable to determine the chemical nature of this phenomena.